Hey there. This is Larry Glover. I'm sitting here by this beautiful mountain creek and staring into its incredibly enchanting waters with the sunlight playing with the shadows. And I'm actually reflecting on the state of the world, quote unquote, and the politics of our time. And I'm reflecting on the spiritual wound that allows one man or one person, woman, to hate another or to dehumanize another, to turn them into immigrants as though being a refugee is not a political right for all of humanity. As though there are not but one people on the planet, even as there is but one water, always returning to itself, whether it be in the form of rain or snow or sleet, there's but one ocean on the planet. And the pollution of one is the pollution of all. The dehumanizing of one human is the dehumanizing of all of humanity. And that wound I speak of is the wound of separation from nature, the original medicine. The original medicine of connection is nature herself. And that is why to treat her, to treat nature as a commodity is a sacred act of the greatest error and is the dehumanization of one's very self. It is the failure to see the belonging and the reciprocity that lives within each of us and out of which we are woven. For without these one waters, none of us exist. We are woven of such, even as we are woven of relationship. And it is but spiritual ignorance and spiritual wounding that can fail to see this that fails to know it in our very bones. And to have compassion for those that fail to see and know this is to have compassion for where this wounding lives within oneself. For it is the wound of Western civilization, the separation of the self from nature this elevation of the self as superior to the waters of the planet, the creatures, the animals, as we might call them. For in truth, they are our brothers and sisters. They are our grandfathers and grandmothers. They are our elders. It is their existence that weaves our own being into existence. For indeed, it is the very rooting of the forest in the symbiotic relationships with the mycelia fungi, this wood-wide web, as scientists now call it, that is the precursor for our own neural network. It is the mirror image of our own body, this forest. For we too are woven of a multitude of symbiotic relationships. More bacteria than human cells in this body, which is speaking to you now. And it is the opening of such wonder and awe and curiosity, which is this window back into our primordial relationship with the world this remembering of our own wholeness, of what it is to touch and be moved by the power of such beauty 
as this little mountain creek. May you learn to see yourself within it, for you carry this beauty in your very nature too. Namaste. And remember, be wild, go wild, stay wild. Mother Earth is.